How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more MTGA Arena Historic Brawl. Today we're going to be checking out a Rakdos Commander. Rakdos Reanimator Commander. Um, and one of the commanders that I played once on the channel uh, when he first came to Arena. But I haven't played much since and I'm kind of interested to see him in action again. We're going to mull that. We'll keep this. So, Chainer Nightmare Adept. To discard a card, you may cast a creature from your graveyard this turn. Really, really powerful. Because um, it gives everything that enters the battlefield from your graveyard haste. Uh, we're going to see if we can get Robber of the Rich Value. I don't mind trading a rat for Robber of the Rich, actually. Because, like, the rats pile up and then you die. You just want to remove as many rats as quickly as possible. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't have a three drop, but I'll probably go into Key to the Archive on four. Hopefully snag another Wrath. Because my Black Wrath are limited. I have one at five and then one at seven. Day of Judgment, please. Yes. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? We'll get rid of a creature because creatures are basically um, basically reusable in the yard. So Narrow Marler is a really powerful commander. Uh, which is why we really want to avoid him coming down with a bunch of rats on board and stacking a rat and making so many tokens uh, chromatic lantern into turgid turgid's a really good blocker better than chainer just because of the five power versus two uh, five toughness versus two toughness uh, we don't really have anything to trigger her at the moment but like if she goes to the bin we're not too worried Next turn, we'll probably try to get a Nehab. Here is Downfall, okay. Yeah, the nice thing about Chainer is... Nehab? Decline. Yeah, I want to get Marinar when he comes down, which I think is this turn. Ouch. I should have paid more attention. That's bad. Chainer did his job and I failed him. And we'll go to game two. That was a quick one. But we were up against rats, right? Like, rats tries to end the game as quickly as possible. Um, what other news? In, like, channel news, Chandelar went up with its first video tonight. So I guess it kind of dates this recording. But, uh, yeah, it went up. And it's been, like, two hours haven't seen much traction, but it's a game that I really, really love. So I look forward to playing more of it, regardless of how well it does. Uh, do I want this? I kind of want this. The problem is, like, the mana is a little sketch, and... Yeah, I'll keep this. So, my gross of the magic player has taught me that even if the hand is very, very tempting... If the mana is sketchy, don't bother because you're not going to be able to do anything with it anyways. Dude, Cranko and Chinger is a bit bonkers. I'm looking forward to that. Chinger, discard Cranko, reanimate Cranko. Make all of the happy good times. So we start on Fable. 
Because Fable can discard for us, right? So we'll probably discard Bloodline Purveyor and Cranko. Assassin's Trophy. Okay. I wouldn't mind having another land, actually. It doesn't mean I don't get a discard, but... <clears throat> Let's get another black source. We have at least one triple black spell in the deck. I don't know if we have any triple red spells. We probably do, actually. It's a shame we had to use, uh, that we didn't get the treasure until after combat, because then we could have attacked with Ratilda too, but. <clears throat> Dude, they're just removal tribal. But I guess if you're doubling up your removal spells, that's that's okay. Do they have another one for Cranko or Chainer? Because if they don't, we're not we're not out. Like we're down, but we're not out. Okay. Well, that's it's a bit rough. We need to draw land. Okay. We'll put Krenko in the bin for future proofing. We'll get Ratilda. spells can they have? Resolve. <laughs> Galvanic weather the storm? was neat. Hmm. Do I have six mana? Uh, let's go with you. And then let's discard Purveyor for the future to get back Cranko for the present. Like, Chainer's doing what Chainer's supposed to do. A world tree? Like, can they recover? Because we are... They've got some shenanigans going, but we're also pretty... Pretty well off in the shenanigan territory. So they have to answer our board. They've answered Chainer. If they can get rid of Krinko, we're actually probably dead in the water for a few turns. Yeah, like Ratilda is a problem, but I feel like Krenko's are uh, yeah, I'll take me one of them, one of them.
Hmm. How much? I have four. What? All right, we need one more mana to make that work. Do we want a chainer, or do we want to just build up our board presence? I think we would want to build up our board presence. Uh, maybe it was better to execute the... What do I want in my yard? Uh, Glorybringer? Probably, that'll just get rid of Kodai. So I guess you can't play lands off of this. That's unfortunate. Be a lot cooler if I could curse of hospitality. Be a bit more Ratilda like. Vanishing curse. Is that mono colored? Oh, there goes Cranko. Chainer, discard Dread Horde, get back Ratilda. Swing in with everything that's not Nightmare. Uh, get rid of the Galvanic iteration. Land. Uh, tap dark creature. Let's tap down the, the elemental. Now chainer is the only thing that's really uh, worth getting rid of. So I imagine that's what's going to be gotten rid of. Deck of many things. Activate deck of many things. Glory bringer, okay. What do I want to get rid of? Probably anything that says destroy. One, two, three, four. So we got a glory bringer back. So we have a lot of mana now. I imagine that Chainer is going to get chained. Good. 
Yo, does Chainer survive? I think it does. They have a land drop. They can play a land and then cycle and then it'll get rid of Chainer. Yeah, I think that's where we're headed, unfortunately. Okay, well, yeah, you get the free uh, freebie off, right? No reason not to get the freebie off. Uh, do I have to block here? 1, 2, 3, 12. 12 plus 4, 16? 16 damage. Uh, I guess we can just recast him. Draw two cards, okay. Dragon Skull Summit, that's nice. Uh, exert. Target non dragon, so we gotta get rid of Cody. Discard all the good stuff. Discard a card, we can get rid of that. Sacrifice our glory bringer. It's not gonna get much more value, unfortunately. And we'll play like a a Zer. Zerdos as the blocker. Like, we're not dead. They have to deal with Rankle, or Rankle kills them. Chainer can just come down and kill them. Do I have anything in my yard that can just, uh... The Exile's probably pretty bad for me, unfortunately. Uh, they don't have any Flyers, though, so we can just Chainer Bloodline Purveyor. Uh, fix all of our problems. Uh, yeah. Hey, you land off the top. That's what I like to see. I was supposed to cast you, Helm of the Host, but, um... Never got there. Do you have uh, an unsummon? Yeah, that's still five damage though. You're dead, I think. I hope. Since we have no cards in hand, we might as well try for the 20. Yeah. So if you get a nat 20, you get a possible way to win the game, but I have never pulled it off, unfortunately. Because you need zero cards in hand and to get a natural 20, which is hard, right? It's very hard. But I'm going to be code switching for a couple of days between this and Chandelier. And they both have very different card pools, and they even have different rule sets, even though they're both essentially just playing Magic the Gathering. Um, so it's going to be weird, <laughs> because like in, in Chandelar, you don't want to tap anything, because you're going to get mana burn, which isn't a thing in Modern Magic, right? And Modern Magic also, whoa, whoa this is bad. Yeah, I'll keep this, unfortunately. Turgrid, you can go to the bottom. Raccoon. Um, yeah, in Modern... Magic the Mulligan rule is also a lot nicer. Um, go Robber of the Rich. 
I think it's a Kenrith the Return King uh, deck, and we've seen that Kenrith the Return King can be pretty, pretty powerful. Uh, let's see if we can grab a Moon Dancer. No, oh, okay. I wonder. Like, we were definitely behind on card advantage when we started this, but now I think we've caught up. And I don't really know how that happened. Did they mow him to 6 2? They might have. So let's see, we have 4 plus 3, they have 4 plus 3 plus 1. So I guess they were on seven. Um, so they have one additional permanent that off, which means in total they have one additional card. So I'm guessing there's some kind of Kenrith Life Gain deck. Asterion is a life gain card. Black. Chain. Oh, well, they're done. Okay. We were just going to extort another card out of them. But, um... Those were our three games. We got two wins, one loss. Our one loss... Probably mostly my fault. Like, the deck performed okay. I just took some questionable lines. Uh, either way... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Bye for now.